Okay, everybody, I'm here to open up the last half of my hobby box of Top Series 2 for this year. If you missed the first video, I'll give you a quick um, recap of the inserts and quote-unquote hits that I had. Um, a couple of 88 designs, a couple of the Adam Wainwright and Verdugo World Baseball Classic cards. Hit one of the uh, Home Run Challenge of Byron Buxton, favorite son of Aaron Judge, a Justin Verlander. Um, all aces card and then the parallels we had a rainbow foil of ryan creedler third baseman for the detroit tigers a couple of gold cards numbered out of 2023 this is the team card of houston and then cutter crawford and then the one uh, i guess you could say hit numbered card out of 299 the orange foil orange foil board card of will benson so also opened the silver pack in my last video didn't get anything uh, overly extravagant or numbered or anything like that. Just the regular cards. So we will be guaranteed, hopefully, <laughs> unless there's been a mistake somewhere, to find our um, autograph or relic card in this video. So I'm going to jump right in it. Try not to take too long going through a lot of the base cards, as I know a lot of you are very familiar with Series 2 at this point and don't really need to see me go over a lot of cards that you are already... Um, aware of. So we did hit the Corbin Carroll in the first video. Have not seen the Anthony Volpe or there's Ezekiel Tovar, 1988 insert card. Rookie for the Colorado Rockies, Max Meyer, injured. And there's the Trevor Story and Nolan Arenado in the card as well. So yeah, have not seen Jordan Walker, have not seen Anthony Volpe. Um, just seen the Corbin Carroll so far. So here we go. Second pack. Dalton Guthrie, Olsen, Severino, uh, flipping and flopping here. Madrigal's back up with the big league team. Jimenez, Pollock, no insert in this one. Hader, Bailey Falter, and Robinson Torino. So, as you noticed in the first video, there will be a few packs, maybe 20% of them that don't have any insert cards or hits in them, anything like that. This time, looks like we have one of the world... Baseball classic cards, Dre Jameson, Zach Gowan, who's been very good, Louis Varland, Ricky, Harold Ramirez, Guriel. This is looks like the Dominican Republic. It is Dominican Republic. Willie Adamas for the Milwaukee Brewers. Right there, not numbered. Is our next insert card, Segura, Diaz, Walker, and Anthony Rizzo to wrap that pack up. So those World Baseball classic cards are really cool. I think the Mike Trout one looks the best with him giving the salute. Um, as he uh, is standing on one of the bases. There's Osvaldo Cabrera for the Yankees. Then Bobby Wood obviously would be my, there's that Grinky. Um, other one that I'd be looking for out of those, if I could hand pick the ones that I'd like, Daniel Bard, um, Suarez, Chris Bassett, and Ford Proctor wrapping it up there for the Giants. So we're two more packs in this quadrant, and then we will be off to the last one. Still looking for that. Autograph or relic cards. Still looking for another numbered card or parallel. Doesn't look like we have anything crazy there. Kode Singa. I've watched some of his games I watch and he looks like really unhittable. And then other games it's like, eh. Here is another Will Benson. Oh my goodness. If anyone out there is a Will Benson collector, you know who to talk to. Because now I have the Will Benson rainbow. I have the Will Benson orange. I showed this in my last video from one of the blasters that I got at Walmart or excuse me, hanger boxes. <laughs> I have the Will Benson Royal Blue. So if anyone's trying to put together the Will Benson Rainbow, <laughs> I've got a good amount of a start for you there. There's a Shohei Otani 88 All-Star card, Bichette, Kirilov, uh, Jordan Groshans, who got traded from Toronto to Miami in the middle of last year. And let's see if this Will Benson hot box can continue. Wouldn't it be crazy if like the auto or relic was a Will Benson as well? <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. Don't see any color or anything in this one. Dunning. Fran Rivalda. There's a Jordan Walker. First time seeing the Jordan Walker in this box. So now we just have the there's Spencer Steer. Got the Volpe as the other big guy. Lance Landstar got 16 guys in his last start. That was absolutely crazy. After the struggles he's had this year. A lot of those World Baseball Classic guys have had a little bit of a rough start. Wainwright hasn't been that good. Um, obviously Lance Lynn has not been good. Trey Turner's been a little bit hot and cold. Took a while for Schwarber to heat up, but he's finally heating up now that the calendar switched to Zoom. Switched to June, excuse me. JD Martinez. There's the another Will Benson. Will Benson hot box. 
is in full effect. There's Yoshida for the Red Sox. He's had a nice start. Ruiz already has like 30 stolen bases this year. Um, there's Schwarbers just speaking to him. Oh, there's one for my Kansas City Royals. George Brett, 88 All-Star Design. The most well-known and the greatest Kansas City Royal of their franchise history. Paredes, Cutter Crawford, Manoa, and Hunter Dozier, who's been released by Kansas City. They're just eating the last couple years of his contract. All right, guys, we're down to the final. What is this? One, two, three, four, five packs. Five packs. Still have not seen that hit yet. I'm not building suspense on purpose. Just has not come through. So we'll see if we find the pack that has it. I may try to uh, save it for the end, but it doesn't look like it's this one. Colin Moran. I didn't even know he was still in the big leagues. No, there's the Volpe. Know him more for his giant beard for the Pirates and uh, Joe Musgrove, Savion Curry, Joey Bart. No insert in this pack. Jonathan India, Taylor Torkelson, and Joey Gallo. All right, five and four. Saving that hit for the end. We should hopefully have like a maybe one of those Legend of the Games inserts coming up. Have not seen one of those. Have not seen another numbered card in this section of the box. Maybe that's a sign of good things to come. Oh, we do have something in this one. Looks like a, I don't know what color that would be. But even just struggling um, to know what colored parallel that is. It didn't look like it was black, but I guess it looked more of a blue. Oh, it is one of the Legends of the Game cards, it looks like. Yeah, there we go, Garrett Mitchell. It is Legends of the Game, Frank Thomas. And there it is. Got that rainbow foil design with that classic 1990s uh, sleeveless jersey there for the Chicago White Sox when they were a mean lineup, man. They had Albert Bell and Frank Thomas, Ray Durham. They were no fun to face. Jack McDowell on the mound. They were very, very good. All right, we're down to three packs. Still have not seen our hit yet. They're going to make us wait for it, it looks like. Team cards. Team cards. Air conditioning's kicking on. Sorry about that. If you hear that, Josh Young in the background. What has he got? Like 15 home runs already this year. McCarthy back with the big leagues after struggling and getting sent down earlier. Kerry Carpenter and Nick Castellanos. All right. It better be in one of these last two or I am going to miss out. Which would be a bummer. Usually Tops is on top of things. Usually they know what they're doing. All right, I didn't see anything on first glance in this pack. Maybe in the very last one. There's Kimbrel. Team cards, team cards. Daniel Bard, Alec Thomas, future star. He's back up, hit a home run. His first came back from the minor leagues. Got ourselves a Derek Jeter. That's very cool, 1988. Derek Jeter design. Obviously, he wasn't in the major leagues in 1988, but if he was, that might have been what his card looked like. Soto, Diarno, or Darno, and Wisniewski there for the Cubs. All right, it's got to be in this pack, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last pack of the box. We have not seen a relic or autograph yet. I did not do this on purpose. I think you watch eight and a half minutes of video. If it's not in this one, I'm going to feel like I missed out. It looks like we can see some red or something in there. So that might be a sign of good things to come. I'm going to go ahead and flip it to the back. It does feel a little bit thicker, so it might be a relic card. That would be my guess. Joe Adele, Jeff McNeil, Hernandez, flipping it around, Arenado. Team card, team card. Set those down as we get to the final few here, guys. Javier Assad, Kyle Wright, flipping and flopping. Next card, Tony Kemp. I believe he's out of Vanderbilt. Cody Morris. Anthony Rendon, the often inju injured Anthony Rendon. And we do have this one. It is definitely a relic because it's thicker. Let's see what it says. Garrett Cole, 88 All-Star game, Garrett Cole. All-Star relic card as we flip it around. There you go. So they waited till the last pack, but we finally got our hit. This is a 1988 relic. Got a little bit glossier finish than the regular 88 cards of Garrett Cole. So very cool. They waited to the end, but we finally got it. it. Made me a little bit nervous there. So Yankees are well represented here with the Jeter and the Garrett Cole. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Quick recap of my hobby box. Once again, the only 
uh, numbered color parallel there was this Will Benson orange foil or out of 299 hit three of the world baseball classic cards one favorite son one all aces one home run challenge one legends of the game and then we hit two rainbow foils Benson and Creedler and then two gold cards the um, Astros along with Cutter Cropper so thank you so much for watching this one guys I'll catch you in another video see ya